Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jonathan Coase and in today's free email marketing training, I'm going to be sharing with you different ways that you can increase the conversion rates. And I have some tactics and techniques that I'm going to share with you here. And so not only is this going to help you to increase the conversion rates, but first it's going to start with the open rates because in order to even have increased conversions, you got to start with more open rates. So that is an issue though with some people, they don't have an issue with the open rates. So they just need to more so focus on conversions. So I'm just going to touch on both of those in this video. So I'm going to go through that with Aweber which is one of the most premium email marketing platforms as well as system.io which is actually a free marketing all-in-one suite that you can use to get subscribers send out newsletters and have automation and autoresponders set in place for your sales funnels as well so let's go ahead and get started at the very top i'm going to try to keep this video as brief as i can people are more likely to open an email if the subject line is short to the point and intriguing so you want to try to keep your subject lines under 50 characters and you can use words that will make your subscribers want to know more. A website that I want to share with you is called online character count. So at the very bottom here on this website, it says characters. This is actually where you can go to sort of measure how many words you have so far in your subject line. Let's just say your subject line is free training. It's pretty generic and it's pretty generic, but I'm just using this as an example, how to shed 60 pounds in six months something like that so it tells you right here how many characters you have so you can use this as a tool and i'll be sure to leave this in the description as well and then so when you're creating your broadcast message and you start from here where it says broadcast now this can either be with aweber or any other software get response mailchimp Let's just say I just choose one. I'm just going to use this as an example. Right up here at the very top is where you would choose your actual subject line and you can insert it right here. So you just go ahead and paste that in here. And you can use this as a gauge. Now, also, you want to make sure that they are intriguing. You can use AI assistant tools such as Bard or Bing. You can even use the Microsoft Edge GPT-4 chatbot that they have on the right hand side for different email subject lines, but you can mainly just take the transcript of the content in your email and then just say, hey, give me about 15 different intriguing subject lines. And the thing that I like the most about Bard is you can use several different drafts. So I like to use Bard as well, because if you were to put that same prompt in there, they'll give you three different drafts. So you just want to make sure that your, your subject lines are intriguing. You can also personalize your subject lines and emails so that it feels more personable. When you personalize your emails, it shows your subscribers that you care about them and that you're not just sending out mass emails. And the way you can do that is just by customizing the subject line so that it has your subscriber's first name. If you're collecting that on the opt-in form, your first and the last name, as well as the email address, then you can use that. You can use code and you typically have that option in Aweber or any of the different email marketing platforms where they'll give you the option to be able to have like a little code that you can put in there for an example system.io if i were to just go ahead and create like a quick little newsletter and the subject line is sort of the same thing we're going to go ahead and just choose what i put in here so to copy that like so copy and then go to system.io put that in the subject line and then it's asking me to choose whether i want a visual editor or the classic editor i'm just going to stick with this just for this example and you go here this is actually where you edit it so if you click on this you can change the email from here whether it be like first name or you can have the first and last name so rather it just say free training reveals it'll say hey jonathan free training reveals if you know what i mean so that's how you can personalize them by mentioning something that they previously purchased or interacted with on your website and you can include content that's relevant specifically to their interests. And you can use all of this and get this data from remarketing softwares or retargeting. You can typically get the data from within those campaigns that you do if you're running advertising. I also have a playlist, an entire playlist on email marketing. So be sure to check that out. I'll be sure to include that in the description as well. And you want to segment your list and send targeted emails. Don't just send the same email to everyone on your list. You want to segment it so that you can send targeted emails to different groups of subscribers. Like for an example, with the financial newsletter list, they have about 60 to 70% of that list can consist of doctors, private pilots, lawyers, and you can customize, especially when it comes to offline marketing, you can customize the envelopes and lift notes for specific niches within that financial newsletter because there's sub niches. And if you segment it based off of whether they previously purchased from you or not or they was in the car or they just accidentally abandoned it or for whatever reason they left you can send them specific emails that's tailored for their situation and those circumstances and you have all those options in aweber get response 
and the automation. And you can choose that too when you're sending a newsletter out. You can just customize your list based off of their specific actions and triggers that they take. And I have different trainings, and I'll be sure to link that as well as far as like how to set up an automation flow and segment your list. And I did that with Aweber, and I also showed you how to do that with System.io as well. So be sure to check that out. It's going to be in the tools and the resources below. And then you want to just use a good email service provider. I'm using Aweber and System.io as examples in these videos, but feel free to take a look at the other ones out there, such as MailChimp, Diffusionsoft, even ClickFunnels has their own internal email marketing system. And as well as Optimized Press, I believe they're working on their own solution. I'm not sure if it's ready yet for the public. And then you can A-B test your emails, which is just a great way of split testing different subject lines or which email works best, which one gets higher conversions, which subject lines are getting you more click-through rates. So just try different subject lines, email content, and then you want to try different send times. So if, if last week you tried 6 a.m., this week try 3 p.m., et cetera, and just see which one gets higher click-through rates, and then you can use that as a precedent moving forward. And then keep your emails fresh. The one thing that I like most about Bar, as well as these other AI assistant tools, is they they allow you to get different drafts, and you can spin it. It's such a different landscape than it was in 2017. You don't want to just be sending the same exact emails over and over again. Keep your content fresh and interesting by sharing new products, promotions, blog posts. You can even repurpose older content that you've created before in the past that's relevant to a specific topic that you're talking about at that current moment. You can use surveys, polls to get feedback from your subscribers and see what they want to hear from you. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll be sure to link everything that I discussed in this video and the tools and the resources below as well as the email marketing playlist and those different trainings that I mentioned as far as like segmenting your list. And I showed you how to do that with Aweber as well as system.io. And then also I have copywriting tutorials that will help you with your ad copy and the content of your email so that it's more intriguing and your subject lines as well. And be sure to take a look at this online character count. That way you're able to measure the words in your subject line as well. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just kind of want to just keep it brief. And if you're looking for more content like this, when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales, be sure to subscribe and take a look at my website, jonathancoast.com. And if you need high quality droves of targeted traffic to your business on a consistent basis, using free traffic strategy without having to spend money on advertisements or bug your friends or family, then check out the Limitless Traffic Formula. you either see it in the description below or on my website. It's a free five-day training where I'll walk you through the entire process of getting consistent, targeted droves of quality leads to your sales funnel every single day without spending any money, all right? So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the training. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you then.